Welcome back to Astro Academia. Today, we're diving into some exciting practice questions to help you ace the International Astronomy and Astrophysics Competition, IAC. These questions are all about the solar system, its wonders, its mysteries, and the fascinating objects it holds. Get ready to test your knowledge and learn some cool facts along the way. Let's jump right in. Here's a fundamental one to warm you up. What star is at the center of our solar system, and what type of star is it? Got it? Of course, it's the sun. But did you know it's not just any star? The sun is classified as a G-type main sequence star, also known as G2V. It's often referred to as a medium-sized yellow dwarf. While it may seem average, it's an absolute powerhouse, generating energy through nuclear fusion in its core. Next up, a question to clarify something many people get confused about. What is the difference between an asteroid and a meteoroid? Here's the answer. The key difference is size. Asteroids are much larger chunks of rock and metal that orbit the sun. Meteoroids, on the other hand, are smaller fragments, often broken off from asteroids or comets. When meteoroids enter a planet's atmosphere and burn up, they create those beautiful streaks of light we call meteors. Amazing, right? Now for a multiple choice question. Which of the following is not a recognized dwarf planet in our solar system? A, Ceres, B, Pluto, C, Eris, D, Europa. The answer is D. Europa. Europa isn't a dwarf planet. It's one of Jupiter's many moons and is famous for its icy surface and potential to harbor life beneath it. The others, Ceres, Pluto, and Eris, are all officially recognized as dwarf planets in our solar system. Here's your next question. Identify which of the following gases are primary components of the gas giants in our solar system. There may be more than one correct answer. A, carbon dioxide, B, helium, C, hydrogen, D, methane. Here's the answer. The gas giants are made mostly of hydrogen and helium, making options B, helium, and C, hydrogen correct. These elements form the bulk of the gas giants' atmospheres. Trace amounts of methane, option D, and other gases like ammonia also contribute, while carbon dioxide, option A, is not a primary component. Isn't it fascinating how these colossal planets are mostly made of the simplest elements? Let's heat things up with this one. Compared to the sun's surface temperature, sunspots are A, cooler, B, hotter, C, same temperature, D, sometimes hotter and sometimes cooler. And the answer is A, cooler. Sunspots are regions of intense magnetic activity that suppress convection, the flow of hot plasma from the sun's interior. As a result, less heat reaches these areas, making them appear cooler than the surrounding surface. Even though they're cooler, sunspots are still incredibly bright and hot by earthly standards. Time for a cosmic traveler question. A comet's tail points in which direction? A, away from the sun, B, towards the sun, C, in the direction of movement, D, against the direction of movement. The correct answer is A, away from the sun. A comet's tail always points away from the sun, no matter which direction the comet is traveling. This happens because solar wind and radiation pressure overpower the comet's weak gravitational pull, pushing the material in the tail outward. Isn't it amazing how the sun's energy shapes distant objects? Let's continue. The next question on the red planet, the atmosphere of Mars consists primarily of A, nitrogen, B, oxygen, C, carbon dioxide, D, carbon monoxide. The answer is C, carbon dioxide. About 95.3% of Mars' atmosphere is CO2, with only trace amounts of other gases like nitrogen and argon. This thin CO2-rich atmosphere contributes to Mars's frigid temperatures and inability to support liquid water on its surface. Now let's turn our attention to Earth's closest companion. Why does the same side of the moon always face Earth?
This phenomenon is called synchronous rotation or tidal locking. The moon's rotational period, how long it takes to spin once on its axis, is equal to its orbital period around Earth, 27.3 days. This alignment keeps the same side of the moon facing us, creating the familiar view we call the near side. Here's one about one of the most fascinating moons in the solar system. The moon Titan orbits around A, Mars, B, Jupiter, C, Saturn, D, Neptune. The answer is C, Saturn. Titan is Saturn's largest moon and the second largest in the solar system after Jupiter's moon, Ganymede. It's famous for its thick atmosphere and surface lakes of liquid methane, an incredible alien world. Let's finish with a challenge. The four big moons of Jupiter are Callisto, Europa, Ganymede, and Io. Which one of them has the smallest distance to Jupiter? The answer is Io. Io is the closest of the Galilean moons, orbiting at about 421,700 kilometers, 262,000 miles, from Jupiter. Its proximity subjects it to extreme tidal forces, making it the most volcanically active body in the solar system. That's it for today's practice session. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments below, and feel free to share your favorite solar system facts with us. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cosmic content. Stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video on Astro Academia.